And we're live. And we're live. <laughs> okay, I'm good. And I'm not too sick as a thing. Smile. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about how I was a side chick for like a month. <laughs> I was gonna watch this and be like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, so I was, earlier I was trying to figure out a video cause I really wanted to do a prank on Sabrina, but then I couldn't think of anything. So I was thinking about my life. And it turns out I had a very eventful high school year-ish or whatever. Like, I feel like I didn't do a lot of stuff, but turns out I did. And like, everything's just hitting me randomly. And so this hit me today and I was like, you know what? I wanna make a story time. And so here we are. So let's just get right into the video, folks. It was in 11th grade. I was in my Spanish 2 class, and I everybody was separated by like alphabetical order. So like the second you walk through the door, it was like a person, the person, me. I'm always like third for some reason, and like everybody else. Now the person who was like in front of me, I don't want to say his name. Say. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so as Sabrina suggested, we're gonna call him Billy. So Billy sat like right on the first seat. Uh, someone sat in front of me, but they just stopped coming to class and then I sat behind them. And cause they stopped coming to class, I would just move my seat up so I could be closer to the board and stuff because I can't see. So we started talking and stuff and he was really cool or whatever. I remember seeing him like in my classes, like in the grades before and like, he was in my science class in 10th grade and he had a temper, oh my God, it was so random. And he was randomly talking about how he was gonna kill this girl or something and he had to get escorted out the classroom by um, the principal. Oh, that was so wild. So that's like all I knew of him was remembering him saying he was gonna kill this girl because he was so mad or something. And that was like really, really weird. Anyway, so that's all I knew, but like he actually turned out to be a pretty cool person. And he was like super chill and stuff, right? And so, um, I really don't remember how, but we like exchanged numbers and stuff. And like, I didn't really text him that much cause we were always talking class and I had Spanish, uh, like for my first period, I think. And so, yeah, I will always talk to him there. So he'll be the first person I see every morning. We were like being cool in class and stuff. And then it was like towards the end of the year when I met him. So in class, we really didn't have any work to do or nothing. So we were just talking like for a whole like, hour and 45 minutes I guess so through that I got to know him and stuff he uh, took a lot of pictures on his phone and he would always show me like all the pictures he was taking stuff and he took pretty good pictures he just didn't know how to delete anything so I had to teach him how to delete stuff and so basically I just went through his phone it was pretty pretty great I didn't really find anything but um <laughs> and he had went on this cruise and he was telling about the cruise and where they went and all this stuff and I was getting to know him and all that good stuff I would always like show him Fifth Harmony videos and stuff and he would actually sit there and watch it with me. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, it was it was pretty cute or whatever, I guess you could say. You know what, I'm just rambling. <sighs> yeah, so we were like basically friends, right? And then after a while, I was like, you know, he's a pretty cool person. Like he was he was super open-minded, so we got so we basically talked about like a whole bunch of stuff and I was like He's pretty cool or whatever. He, I guess he's kind of cute or whatever too. And so, I guess you could say I developed a crush on him. I don't, I don't know. But <laughs> I guess, but like I knew he liked me and I knew that he liked me. I could tell like the second, I don't know how I knew, but I just knew, right? And so I would never, I would literally only see him in the morning time and I would like occasionally see him like after school is over like after class is done and all this stuff. But now that like we're like friends or whatever, I would see him like in the hallways and stuff in between classes or whatever. And I'll be like, hey, hey, um, Billy. <laughs> I forgot what we're calling him. <laughs> anyway, and I would see him like in the hallways and stuff and I'll be like, hey, blah, blah, blah. And we'll like stop and talk in the breezeway and all this stuff, right? So I'm like, I told somebody, I don't know who I told, but I was like, he's really cool, whatever. And we were like, not necessarily talking, but basically like getting to know each other, but like as friends. 
Like, I don't think he knew that I kind of liked him or whatever, but I knew that he liked me, but he didn't know that I knew that he liked me. So, we're like, getting to know each other or whatever and all that stuff, and he's a pretty cool person. And I'll see him sometimes in the hallway, he'll say, what's up, and all that stuff. Also, he was like super funny, so we were always be joking and all this stuff, right? So tell me why one day, I was walking down this one hallway and there was always this one teacher who would put up the prom pictures. She would take pictures of everybody who came to prom and put them up outside her wall. So I was looking at the pictures because I was like, everybody came back from prom. Let me see how they looked and stuff. Tell me why I find this dude with another girl on the prom wall. And I was like, okay, what the heck? Because um, I didn't know he went to prom and we were like friends around this time. So I didn't know he went to prom. None of that stuff. And I didn't know who the girl was either. And like, I wasn't like jealous or nothing like that. I I only was curious because uh, I figured that was probably his girlfriend or something. But then I was like, nah, he doesn't have a girlfriend because like he likes me or whatever. So I found that out. I told somebody and we did some like investigating or whatever. We couldn't find nothing because I didn't follow him on no, no social medias or none of that stuff. So I brought it up in class one time. And I was like, so you went to prom this year? And he was like, yeah. And he was telling me about the prom and stuff. And I'm like, what the heck? So he did go to prom. And he did have a date or whatever. And I was like, I saw your picture on um, the prom board or whatever. And he was like, yeah, that's me and my girlfriend. Woo! And I was like, what the heck? I was so shook. Like, oh my God. Not even because I liked him. I was just shook at the fact that he had a girlfriend but he was, he liked me though. And I'm like, why are you trying to pursue this or whatever? And you have a whole girlfriend. But I played it cool or whatever, right? So we were just talking casually. Turns out him and his girlfriend, they were on and off for like a year or so. And they were always like break up, get back together. They will always be arguing and stuff. And he like, and she will always call his phone while we were in class and they'll be arguing like in class. And it was his whole girlfriend and I was just, I felt so, I was shook. So I don't remember what I did, but I'm pretty sure I texted him about it or something. And yeah, he explained how they were on and off and all this stuff. And he was like, he was going to break up with her. And he was just finding a right time to break up with her. So I was thinking, if he's on and off with this girl and he breaks up with her, wouldn't he get back together with her since they're in the process of doing this already? And if he was trying to talk to another girl, me, while he has a whole girlfriend, and let's say we dated, he would probably do the same thing to me with another girl or something. And I'm like, I just don't want to go through that. That's too much drama. And it was already too much drama as it is, and I wasn't even dating him. I remember I had brought it up to him, and I was like, we can't do whatever this is that we're doing or whatever because you have a whole girlfriend. And he was like, oh, it's cool or whatever because I'm going to break up with her anyway, blah, 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 blah. And I had saw him one time in the hallway, and I was like, so you break up with your girlfriend yet? And I was like asking him this like every day or whatever. And every day he never did. And she was, she didn't even go to our school. She was in college. Yeah, she was in college. She didn't even go to our school. So I never saw her, saw her anyway. But I would always ask him like, yo, what's up with you and your girlfriend or whatever? And they never broke up. So I was like, um... We can't do this no more or whatever. <laughs> we weren't even doing anything, but I was just, just that whole fact just stopped everything for me. Just like, anything that I, I thought I was attracted to him or blah, 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 all that stuff, all that like ended in that second, that moment or whatever. And so I was just slowly like, basically like pulling away from our friendship really, because I was like, if you can't even, uh, I don't know, I just lost like a lot of respect for him for that. Plus, he would always say, like, little stuff, and I was just, I don't know, it would bother me, and so I couldn't look past that, I guess you could say. So, I was, like, slowly pulling away, I guess you could say, from my friendship. Plus, it was the end of the year, so uh, we were about to get out for school, right? And so, we kind of, like, stopped talking. We kind of, like, fell off, like, as friends and stuff, too. And so, I didn't talk to him anymore. I didn't follow him on no social medias, none of that stuff, so there's no way I could, like, keep up with him or whatever and see how his life's going. That summer, I was at the skating rink with my friends, and he just so happened to be there. Like, we were skating around in the circle, and he passed me. He was like, hey, or whatever, and I was like, what the heck? So, um, he never actually came up to me during, like, while we were at the skating rink, but he was te texting me and stuff, trying to be, like, 
back cool and all this stuff. And I was like, come over here and talk to me and my friends, whatever. But he wouldn't come over there. And then he left without saying bye. So I was like, okay, I'm just done completely, right? Yeah, I didn't see him, talk to him, or none of that stuff since the skating ring. Then uh, 12th grade started, we was all cool or whatever. He knew my sister, so he would go up to her and like talk to her about me. And he was like, what did he say? I don't know, but my sister came up to me and she was like, he said this, blah, 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 blah. And he was basically like, he was broken up with his girlfriend for real, for real. And he wanted to get with me and he wanted to like be serious and all this stuff. And I'm just like, um, it's a little too late for that now. Cause like once I lose feelings for someone or once I just make up my mind about someone, you can't change my mind for like anything at all. Like once I make up my mind for you, it's like, it's done. There's no going past that. For like the first few weeks of school, he kept trying to basically like talk to me again, but he would never actually text me. He would always just relay messages through my sister. And I'm like, if he can't even talk to me himself about all this stuff, then like, what's the point of him trying to, trying to be for real or whatever if you can't even talk to me? Like, that's not being for real thing. Yeah, so um yeah after that it was it was basically done it's a wrap or whatever like he stopped trying or whatever because i basically told him like it's too late and blah 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 all that stuff so he just gave up and i for basically forgot about him because i didn't have any classes with him or none of that so yeah i just went about my life living it up gary's way now i'm in college and like who was it? Like a few days ago, I randomly like thought about him because I forgot about him. But like, he was actually a cool person. Like, I like being his friend. Like, he was so so open and so like random or whatever. And it was like super cool talking to him and stuff. And I like I liked him as a friend. It was really great or whatever. And so sometimes I just wonder like how he's living his life or whatever because I don't follow him on social media or nothing. So I don't know what he's doing or whatever. So yeah, I was talking to Sabrina about him. The other day, that's. Did you tell them how you texted him? Oh yeah, me and Sabrina were talking about him, and I was like, uh, I wonder how he's living or whatever. So basically, I I insinuated that I should probably text him, and then Sabrina was like, Yeah, you should text him. So I I texted him, What's up, or whatever, and then he was like, um, Oh bleep, what's up? And then I was shook that he even responded or whatever, because we haven't talked in like a year. I, I do have a photo of me just saying what's up. I'll put that in there. But like, I don't have the conversation after that. I was wondering like how he was living his life or whatever. Cause I was just thinking about 11th grade and all that stuff. And all he said was, LOL, it's, my life is good, how about you? And I thought that was so dry because I'm trying to engage in the conversation. And then once I got to that point, I was like, I don't feel like having a conversation anymore. So I just didn't text him back. And then the next day I deleted the thread, so. Yeah, that's that was funny. So I don't know how he's living his life, but I hope he's good. Like he said, yeah, that's basically it for my story time about how I was basically a side chick. Cause yeah, I really was basically a side chick. Cause the whole time he had a freaking girlfriend, and he was trying to date me, and I'm just like, are you, are you serious? Yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will be posting more story times eventually once I reminisce and think of like monumental stuff that I could put in a video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, comment video suggestions if you have any. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Audi 3000, signing off. A-Town, down. All the extra stuff. Peace.